is up you guys my name is Devin and today I'm talking about the FAMAS a weapon you unlock for the assault category in Battle for 4 and so I did a video about the CC3A1 also known as the Scorpion and this weapon is also is the other weapon that also shoots a thousand rounds per minute which I think I'll end up doing a showdown between these two weapons because these two weapons are the fastest firing weapons in the game but anyways about the FAMAS so you unlock the FAMAS, I forget the actual score amount in Battle for 4, but you eventually unlock it, it's kind of the mid-range where you unlock, and from first glance you might think, oh it's the FAMAS, it sucked in Battle for 3, it's going to suck in Battle for 4. Well I understand, I kind of thought they weren't going to really fix it in Battle for 4, because if you remember Battle for 3, this weapon was pretty bad. It came with the Back to Karkin DLC, when it first came out it was the best assault rifle. It had a 30 round magazine by default and it just shot people to hell and then DICE re they had to patch it because everybody started complaining about it calling it OP and all this and as soon as people did that they dropped the they dropped the nerf hammer on it and from there they dropped it to a 25 round magazine the recoil was just off the charts more than a LMG would be and its horizontal recoil was already bad enough. And so this weapon became a piece of junk in Battlefield 3. Nobody used it. And over the time they tried to make it a little bit better. But they were never quite able to make it something that you would actually want to use. The only place I would really see that this weapon was really effective in Battlefield 3 was the Close Quarters DLC. And I have used it in Close Quarters DLC. It was very effective in there. But they ruined it. It was not a good weapon in Battlefield 3. Battle for 4, they have done a, a quite big change on it, or not big, but I find it to be just a little bit better in Battle for 4 than it was in Battle for 3. It still has a really high kick, it really still kicks a lot to left and right, but for some reason, I don't know what it is, but it just seems to kill people a lot more reliably than it did. I don't know if it's a decreased spread, if it's something, maybe they did re decrease the recoil, but... And, it just feels like this weapon is a lot better than it was. It still has a 25 round magazine which is kind of a downfall for this weapon because if you're shooting a thousand rounds per minute, 25 rounds doesn't go very far. That's about literally a second or two on the trigger and you're done. That whole clip is gone. Which with this weapon, it kind of requires a little bit of skill because you want that first shot to be an accurate shot. Because if you miss that first shot, unless you really kick it into gear and get those remaining shots on par, you're not going to be killing anything. And before, you really were lucky if you could get one or two kills with the FAMAS. I think that it's a little bit more reliable now. You seem to be able to get more double kills and be able to maybe get a triple kill in there sometimes, and I have found myself doing so. It just seems a little bit more reliable and doesn't seem like just a little gimmick weapon that they just put in there just for the heck of it of having a spray weapon. And I do think that this weapon still is only close quarters. It's definitely something you probably still shouldn't be going for in medium range and long range. But you can try it medium range. And if you really, really hone your skills with this weapon, you might be able to make this a viable medium range weapon. Because And there's also a lot of attachments that you can really do to help this weapon. But yeah, that's my thoughts on that. Now, as for attachments, I would recommend that you use a muzzle break. Or a compensator, whichever one. The muzzle brake will help your vertical recoil. The compensator will help your horizontal recoil. Uh, it seems to have kind of an... I can't really t see what the recoil is for horizontal. I think it's a little bit more right than it is left. Um, don't quote me on that. Go look at the stats or go play with it yourself. But it do definitely has a high upwards recoil. Which makes the muzzle brake a viable option. You can also use the suppressor. But it doesn't really decrease vertical recoil a lot. So if you're going to use the suppressor, be ready to be compensating for a lot of recoil. Because as you've seen in some of these clips, I was using the suppressor. And it's alright with a suppressor. I think that the Battlefield 3 variant was way, was way better with the suppressor. Because the suppressor used to be a very... It used to decrease the vertical recoil a lot. It doesn't seem like it does that as much in Battlefield 4 as it did. So you can give the suppressor a try and see how it works for you. Now, as for the barrel attachment, uh, I mean, not the barrel attachment, the under barrel, I would recommend the angled grip. Because this weapon has a pretty high multiplier for the first shot. 
And like I said earlier, the first shot really matters with this weapon. You only have 25 rounds and you're shooting a thousand rounds per minute. You don't have no time for error. You want that first shot to be the accurate shot. And with a hot, if you decrease that first shot multiplier just a tad bit, you'll be more reliable with hitting that target and him not just running away a little bit hurt or you getting shot because he turns around with something that's a little bit more accurate because the FAMAS is not very accurate. It's more like a kind of a spray and pray at the same time as it can be very effective. Now it has really good hit fire as you probably expect. It's a bullpup weapon and bullpup weapons usually are better at the the hit fire and it just in general it's a really good hit fire weapon anyways i don't really think you should put a laser sight don't waste your point your under barrel on on that or your other attachment on that you should try to put on something more that's going to complement this weapon on its play style i don't think the laser sight is the most best it does have good hit fire by default but if you want to use the laser sight you can go for that and you can play with all the other attachments yourself now as for the reload time it was atrocious in Battlefield 3. It was like near 4 seconds for a full reload if you depleted the whole magazine, which happens almost all the time with the FAMAS. There's barely ever when you're going to have a bullet left, because most of the time when you're spraying down an enemy, you just depleted your whole magazine into one guy or two guys. So, you will be reloading a lot with this weapon, and it will mostly be the full reload. So that, and you will be dealing with a, it's a little bit less in Battlefield 3. I think it's just around over 3 seconds for a full reload. So it did kind of give this weapon a little bit of saving grace by decreasing its reload time just a tad bit. Just, just a tad. But it, it's still kind of long, so you will need to be very cautious and try to get to cover a lot whenever you're going to use this weapon. So, yeah, just, just watch out for that. It's still a pretty long reload. But that's my thoughts on weapons. The weapon, it's okay. Um, it's not the best assault rifle by any means, but it is a very good weapon in close quarters. It definitely can be very effective for anybody who's rushing an objective or playing some domination or playing some TDM. It, it's very good at close range, and I think it's it's pretty much will outshine any weapon at close range because that fire rate is just unbeatable. No weapon can top this weapon in close range as for the assault category. Of course, there's the CZ3A1, but even I think this weapon might be a little bit more effective than that, so you still will build out shoot people with the CZ3A1. But post your comments below on what you think about the FAMAS. Be sure to like the video, subscribe if you're not already, and until next time guys, peace.